Hello friends of golfers, Eric Schilbert, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. Impact bag drill. I think we're gonna talk a little bit more about it, do a little longer talk on this one then, just the straight drill. So, really interesting drill. I feel like there's so much you can do with this impact bag to improve your golf game. And what I find interesting about it is, is quite a few golf instructors don't like it. They absolutely hate anything to do with it. And why is that? Because they say that our golf swing is not done in this manner. Like we don't hit a bag and stop. We swing through all the way, right? So therefore it's just false. It's not helping anything, right? So if, if I was not a, a, a golf coach and I had not been doing it as long as I have, and I had not seen as many students I have improved from this, then I would say, wow, that really does make 100% sense because we're not doing exactly what we would. The problem with their statement is it improves so many people that use this. Why? Because they get the feel for once of what it's like to be on their front side. What it's like to get our hands kind of moving left and leave the club head out there a little bit. What it's like to not flip. So here's the thing. If we can learn a feeling, a new feeling that we can transfer over to our regular swing, we've won the battle, okay? So the only way for me to, if I'm a, let's say I swing kind of whatever, something like this, right? I'm one of those people that tries to get on their back foot, kind of does this, because that's how I square the club face, that's how I get in the air. So it's kind of this move like that. So if I do that and then I hit the impact bag and I'm more like this, I'm gaining this massive feeling, okay? So then here's the question. How then, if this is you know not a great way to do it, not a great way to learn, um, how is, why are my students doing and improving? What's the difference? Because there's a plan to it, okay? So I don't tell anybody to just go hit this thing 20 times in a row and then you're done. So if you're a flipper or you're on the backside, whatever, we're always gonna, I, I, I've, I just found this formula work pretty good. Five to one start, okay? You're gonna hit, you're gonna do this back five times. Okay, you're gonna one, two, three. So right at the top, there's one, two, whatever, five times, right? And then I want you to place the ball with this out of the way, and then I want you to hit it, okay, into a net or whatever you're doing. If you don't have an opportunity to do that, do it, just do a practice swing and try to do and mimic it. Even if you hit with a mirror right in front, if you can't hit a ball and you don't have that you're on your one where you do it without an impact bag, move down really slowly into impact. I tell anybody to do that anyways, just move down into impact, see where you get. Can you get from a dress to somewhere like here? Can you do that in slow motion? If you can, you have a pretty good chance of doing that when you play. So five to one, okay, so then you start getting better. Then you move down to four to one, three to one, two to one, one to one. And when you're at one to one, you're eventually gonna switch over to one to two. Okay, one time to this, to two times of a regular swing. And we keep going the other way. Maybe one of this finally to five regular swings until we fully have it, okay? So following that process will, will greatly improve. So here's how we hit the impact bag. So pretty simple. We just put the butt here. I, I, I really don't care what iron you use. Um, um, I, I think an eight iron is pretty easy to do. You know, you could use four iron if you want. But here's remember this: if you're grabbing like a four iron or five iron, that's the one we're gonna hit a ball with on, on the uh, next one. So, you know, I would maybe grab lowest, or I mean maybe a six. Uh, you know, and then but seven, eight, six. Fine, okay, whatever, whatever. Um, so we're here, and we want to come down and hit this, okay? So, what's the key to see here? My hands, you can't see them, can you? Because the camera's hiding them, and the club head's still out there. Somebody who flips this on their back is like this. See that? I'm gonna see their hands all the time, like this. Now, if I hit the impact bag right, you're gonna see this. See that? How do I do that? Because it's wrist angle. When I come through, it stays. Okay, so I want to add on a couple of things to this impact bag to get for feel. Okay, um, one of them's just this. I'm gonna get the impact bag back here. So there's a lot. These are all great things. This fixes so many things in our golf swing, folks. Just it's absolutely amazing. So I want you to do this. Just set up to it like you're gonna hit it. Okay, and I count of three. I'm gonna just push it. Act like I'm gonna push this. One, two, three. 
So look where I got to. <laughs> this is just amazing. I'm not, I promise you, I'm not trying to get to this position. It's just I naturally get there. It's, and it's how you will too. Um, if you're trying to push this forward, you would not go like this, okay? Now, um, I have told everybody um, up, <laughs> up until recently that I've never seen that happen. I just did see it recently. You know, someone went to this and they went back like that. So it can be done that way, but a 99.999% go like this to push it because you're pushing hard against it this way. It's going to push your hands forward. Your hips are going to open and that's just going to, you, you have power to move this thing like that. You don't back here. Okay. So I just want you to stand there and go, how am I going to push this forward? You're going to go one, two, three. You're going to go like that automatically. Okay. There's another one that we can do with the impact bag just to get that feeling of what impact is. What are we trying to do? We're trying to feel this impact position. What is it so we can re so we can return to it? How do I get to right here? That's the key. How do I repeat getting to that position, okay? So there's a couple um, ways to do it there. So, um, and we're gonna mi you mix that in with like the one to ones, two to one, three to one, just to, just to keep getting that feel of, of doing it, okay? Um, so, you know, after we've done it for a little bit and we're, we're doing our sequencing, let's say I've done it three, four, five times. For those of you that have a launch monitor, when you do it, if you do it correctly and you don't flip, you're going to notice your low point was more forward. Okay. So you should have low point. If you have like a seven or eight iron, probably about four inches ahead. Okay. So about up here. Okay. So you're going to be up here is going to be your lowest point in front of the ball. So if I hit this thing, the lowest point would be about right here. Okay, that's where the club, we hit it about third groove and here, okay? You're gonna notice that. You should notice your launch angle is lower because you're not going like this anymore and lifting it in the air. That's why you start hitting the ball so much longer when you learn this impact that I'm working on with you because you end up like this. So you turn your eight iron into a seven, six and a half, something like that. That's why you start crushing it longer, okay? You compress it. Boom, and you're no longer having eight iron, you have like a six and a half iron, something like that. So that's one of the reasons we watch the pros and they hit it so long. Are they swinging faster than most of us? Yes, but they also have their nine iron as a seven iron because they have shaftling. If you want to know how much shaftling should you get, if you're measuring it on your device, the pros average anywhere from 10 to 14. But remember this, you can't have that much if you don't have enough speed for it, okay? So if I can swing, let's say, my eight iron at 60 miles per hour and I'm like this, I'm never gonna get it off the ground, okay? So keep that in mind, you know? What most amateurs probably should have with their speed is probably, I'm just gonna say it's five to seven if they don't have pro tour type speed. So you have about this, five to seven in front. You're still in front, you're still in good shape, okay? And we're gonna get the proper height we need. Um, so, you know, there's a couple drills. There's more we can do with, with this to improve and I'll get, in, I'll get to those later. But let's see how we can do with that, with our production or um, with improvement with that. And then I just say, what I talked about earlier is, let's add that third one in. I have a mirror here, mirror behind me. So I can work on getting a good rotation here. I'm turned basically right over the ball, right? Nice rotation, got a nice tilt. Now I'm gonna come down. You notice how I'm moving to my left side, but it's kind of going towards 1030. Now, when I look at impact, my head is it's right where it was. My hip is probably right here. See, I got this nice straight line. My head is still right where it started based on my hands or head. That's a pretty, and you're probably rolled over on this side of the foot too. That's a pretty powerful position. So see if you can get in that from the top in slow motion down to the ball. Okay, so maybe you do that three or four times, and then maybe you're ready to go here and see if you can do that. So look how I ended. Hands left, club faces out, okay? Eric Schulward, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. Let me know if you have any questions, and let's get better together. Thank you.